Hello everyone, my name is Ben, Amateur Call Sign K0BJJ, and you're watching Spotter Judging Amateur Radio. I want to welcome you back down to the shack. Kind of a mess down here, I really need to clean up. But you're not here to take a look at my messy shack, you're here for a review on the Anytone 878 UV2 Plus, and this little ad added detail. I absolutely love this radio. I am very happy I upgraded. It works in conjunction with my hotspot. You know, it's got over 500,000 contacts for storage, which I don't even know. I don't even think there's 500,000 con DMR contacts right now to upload. Plus, you get 10,000 talk groups, 2 meter 440. This thing's a nice little radio. Um, DMR capabilities allows you to sit anywhere in your home on a hotspot, from a hotspot, or if you have a close by DMR repeater and talk all over the world, it's a great great tool for your technician. Now I obviously got this for storm spotting so I could talk to National Weather Service if I happen to be home late at night and I've got three inch hail, which would be really bad hail falling outside. I can pull this up, talk to National Weather Service, or I could take this into remote locations where I don't have the capability of having my mobile station with my hotspot, with my SkyBridge hotspot and get on the uh, Des Moines Weather Service DMR talk group and give them reports or get information. The Iowa Emergency Service or Iowa Aries Net also operates on a DMR talk group. So I'm able to get information even if I'm landlocked. Again, I'm going to recommend this radio. If you have the money, I'm going to recommend this NA Tone radio for you. It's not cheap. Probably not going to be your first radio, but if you're ready to go to DMR, definitely. The Annie Tone 878UV2 Plus is the radio for you. Um, I did upgrade. This is a Signal Link uh, glow in the dark antenna for a better reception. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to hit a repeater from here, but we're going to find out. Nope, cannot hit that repeater from here. Or the repeater three miles from my house. So down here in my basement where my shack is, the reception isn't that great. If I had the DMR up, I have no doubt that I could hit my hotspot through the floor. Because the DMR repeater is just above me. Or the DMR, DMR hotspot is just above me. But yeah, sound quality on this radio is excellent. Um, just holding the UV5R and the Anytone side by side the the sound quality is definitely better um takes a little adjusting you can take your code plugs from your mobile from your other any tone radios and put them into this radio so i have a 578 mobile i exported the 578 code plug and i imported it into this radio through the different cps's and it worked just fine. And then I've actually tweaked this radio so that way I have more contacts actually than my 578. I need to go ahead now and export my code plug from this and upload it into my 578. So it's an excellent radio. I do recommend for anyone. I I, I have I don't have anything else to say about it, guys. It's an excellent radio for the price. You're not spending these you know what six hundred dollars for a brand with a brand new yesu it's not a cheap bow fang it's right in the middle of the road and it works as intended so i want to thank bridgecom systems for hooking me up with that uh nice radio i by hooking me up I, i'm a customer that's the second radio i bought for them um but they do have excellent products down there in kansas city and I look forward to doing more business with them in the future. And their customer service hasn't been too horrible. I had that one mistake with the 578. Um, but they do have the uh, Bridge uh, Bridgecom University. So I haven't used actually any of my Bridgecom U stuff to figure this out. This radio is that easy. I could figure it out without any additional classes. It's really easy to program from the front faceplate. I didn't have to look how to do that just because radios differ from brand to brand how to do that. But 
it, it's really it's real simple i mean if you don't know how to do it if you go through bridgecom they have a video for it and if you don't have go through bridgecom if you search how to program this thing odds are youtube's going to pull up a bridgecom video it's going to show you how to do it so either way either way but i do recommend this radio i do recommend the signal link uh antennas too like i said this is the glow in the dark one i wanted something different than the abri and i'm extremely satisfied with the radio i have and the antenna the antenna side i have setup i have so thank you for watching my review if you like the content don't forget to like share and subscribe and we will see you on the next video